Yeah, it's a uh, sign fun week, and uh, we got a little trip planned to uh, take the Stinson L1 over here to uh, get it judged. Paul spent about 19 years as a back burner project trying to get this airplane going, so we finally did. And I think it's uh, time that uh, we let everybody see what it looks like. I used to fly uh, banners for the old Weeks Air Museum in Miami with this. And uh, Paul did a great job. Hopefully we're gonna take it over there and show it off, let everybody see what we did. Anyway, let me find Paul, figure out uh, he printed off all the information for getting into Sun and Fun. And uh, it's pretty close, so I don't need a map to get there. Here comes Paul. So what do we got? We got uh, information for getting in and out of there? Yeah, we got approach. Yeah, they got a special frequency getting in on a warp. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right. All right, Warbird South arrival. Basically just come in south end of the field, and all I need is the frequency. Yeah, it's in the radio. Oh, it's in the radio? It's already, it's already programmed into the radio. Okay, and uh, we just got a little kind of a handheld stuck in there that uh, that works. We made it. Sorry, it wouldn't, the brake wouldn't turn on the right side. I, right I hope I didn't blow anybody anyway, oh, but cool. it was going to take that to get it turned around. Yeah, the right one's weak yeah. for some reason. Yeah, it was great. I almost got lost. <laughs> Good to be here. Yeah, hopefully everybody will check this new airplane out. All right, so they gave me some water. That was nice. The radio worked good coming over. And uh, 
Anyway, we'll get uh, settled in here and see if we can get some judges over here. Yeah, but we're in the grass where we're supposed to be. Uh, God, when I landed, the tailwheel was shimmying like crazy. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the Warbird uh, building over there and figure out what it's going to take to get this thing judged. Hopefully, we get on the list. What's happening? <laughs> hey Joy, I just flew the little, the, or not little, but that big green Stinson L1 over there. So I just need to register and get on the judges list. No, I'm not. I just showed up. So I got to fill this out? Okay, have you got a pen? Good deal. And then for the judge, it'll be great. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Get that going first. Here we go. Hey, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right, we are all set up. I got an extra wristband. The airplane only holds two, but I got three wristbands. So I let one of my guys come out and go through the uh, deal. So that worked out good. I see we've already got the photographers out here. Uh, you know, from uh, EAA, I guess, doing some shots, so. All right, I got it all set up. We're ready to be judged. Hey, hey, we got some Warbird judges. Kermit. Hey, Kermit. How you doing, man? What's going on? You guys are on the video hey, here. Kermit. How you doing? Yeah, 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 thanks for coming by. Anything you need, uh, Paul back there uh, restored the airplane, and it was like, it was a long time deal, 15 years of that back burner project and Paul fill you in on so a lot of them were reconfigured to uh, air ambulance configuration. This one is updated that way. So most of the airplanes you see in service were reconfigured for that. And this was up in the uh, Aleutians, I think, during the It was in Alaska. At the very end of the war. Oh my God, we got all sorts of judges coming. Good, good, good. Super, man. Good to see you. Good, good, good. Thanks. Paul there restored the airplane. He'll fill you in on everything. Good, good. Thanks, sir. Thanks for helping out. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out Paul. We got another couple of your compatriots over there, so dive in. Yeah, built by a company you know, called Fleet Wing Aircraft. They're trying to make this thing as complicated as possible. You know, I redid a, a Stinson SR-38, and its wings are all pressed stainless steel. Yeah. They ended up being wood. <laughs> <laughs> For that very reason. What a pain. Just cut the Oh, range. man, this stuff is nasty. Yeah, I mean, nasty to work with. Nasty. Uh, I guess, I mean, it, it's actually a shame that the cover of the airplane has a book that has a lot of pictures of the airplane. It's a shame that it's covered. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So this airplane flew in the Aleutians at the end of the war, and uh, a lot of the stuff when we acquired the airplane was not on it. Like all the the landing gear fairings, that was all completely gone. Uh, the whole we had to redo the whole top thing. That so that was all cobbled up and not done properly. Uh, it's all covered with gray day, what it originally was covered with. You know, Paul went back and all the little places where it's got the inspection zippers and that kind of stuff is proper and... Seriously, it's covered in grade A. Yeah, it's real. It's, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. Yeah. And the zippers and all that. Yeah. Look inside the new slide. Yeah. And, uh, and this is uh, how did you read it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, Paul did everything exactly the way it was done. Followed all the original drawings with the, uh, you know, all the stenciling and all, all of this stuff is, uh, you know, done exactly the way they would have done it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. If you go like inside all the little boxes and stuff, if there was a wiring diagram that was in there, it's in there. Yeah.
Warbirds on its category. Grand Champion, a 1941 Stinson L1 Vigilant, November 63-2330, Hermit Weeks. Built that airplane, so it's all for him. Thank you. And that the booth will be. All right, Paul, great job. <laughs>